A bathhouse at Newport's Easton Beach goes up in flames, forcing more than 20 firefighters to help put out the fires because of strong winds. It was breaking news on Eyewitness News Live at 5. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner is live in Newport tonight with the latest details on the investigation. Shannon, good evening. Yeah, pretty substantial firefighting effort despite the blazes' uh, relatively confined nature. That wind was quite aggressive and just ahead of beach kickoff season. Could not come at a worse time. Eyewitness News receiving plenty of cell phone video via reported of this raging fire on Newport's Easton's Beach at around 3. Flames and heavy smoke coming from the row of unoccupied bathhouses. Passers-by called it in. We found a fire in the restroom building. It was a fire in the second floor. Uh, as we got the building open to go in to put the fire out, uh, the wind was blowing pretty good as it is now, and it was just pushing the fire through the building. And that wind did not let up. It took us about 40 minutes to get the fire itself under control. Fortunately, no injuries, firefighter or civilian, but the damage is extensive. Basically destroyed the second and third floor of the restroom building. Sue Green has lived in Newport all her life. She says this isn't the first time something relentless did damage to the complex. This was devastated during the last hurricane we had, but they just rebuilt everything. So now they're back to rebuilding. Even so, a sigh of relief. This versus the carousel or the rotunda is kind of the lesser of the evils, but still, again, it's a tra tragedy, you know, to see something burned down like this. Of course, Easton's Beach, also known as First Beach around these parts, opens Memorial Day weekend. It's terrible timing. And fire officials tell us that building expected to be leveled tomorrow. We should emphasize the snack bar, the actual bathhouses, the rotunda, the carousel, all fine. Live in Newport tonight with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jared Pletter, Eyewitness News.